Traveling is, is my favorite aspect. I mean, you did road trips for free, right? Uh, driving a semi in a trailer, it's almost like, like a paid road trip. It's, it's very, very critical to have that bond and that relationship, that marriage between truckers and the company, whether it's dispatch or the CEOs or the mechanics. It's a bonus that I'm effectively doing my job for you guys, but to land in the city where I know one or two people. This last stretch that I was on over like the past seven days, I did a 34 hour reset in Detroit. Beautiful city. I have a friend out there with his children, uh, his lady. Um, as soon as I was done with Detroit, I delivered to Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I have a cousin 30 minutes south in York. Stayed at her place. Picked up in Baltimore the next day. My aunt lives out there, you know what I mean? From there, I picked up a load in Louisville, Kentucky. Went to Denver. I have buddies out there. On my way back to Louisville from Denver, I stopped in Oklahoma. So it's just, it's a beautiful thing. And then once everything is able to be put in a place to where you can adjust your schedule accordingly. Whenever you're about to walk into a new environment, it's just natural habit that you're going to have some kind of nervousness. I didn't really have any any worries about anything, not to be arrogant, but I consider myself to be a pretty good driver previously to get in the CDL. So it was kind of like a no brainer to me. If I get the proper training, I could be surgical with those things, man. So Stefan Mills was, is a good friend of mine. Uh, we were bunk mates actually, and we trained together at Prime Incorporated. I was being overworked and underpaid. So um, we, we kind of left uh, within a matter of months of each other. He came over first and he was singing you guys' praises. He was like, Chris, GB Transco's the real deal. I was like, let me give you like six months to a year, see how you feel about it. If you're saying the same thing, I'll follow you over. And the rest is history. He referred me over and I've been in love ever since. I mean, the job sells itself. It's kind of cliche when you hear that companies want to treat you a certain way or specifically, but it's all about action for me. You know, uh, everybody says the same thing, but what stands out with GP Transco is that you guys are everything that I wanted previous companies to be. And that's what kind of makes my job easy to do. You guys trust your drivers, because we're not baby drivers. I mean, every driver in here has an experience. So when we come in, you guys kind of let us do our thing. And I mean, if something happens, of course you want us to communicate that, but I love the fact that no one's holding our hand or calling us like, hey, what's your ETA? or uh, I see that you've been here for too long, what's going on? Like, it's, it's none of that, and I, I love that about the company. It's kind of hard to, to compare GP or any company to another company if you're only looking at it from the outside in. I can only speak off experience, but I would just, I would just drive the point home about how chill and how laid back things are here. And as long as you're doing your job, there's no need for anybody to reach out or to micromanage you. It comes down to communication. You have to have that communication. And I think everything else kind of builds from there. So if you don't have that, then that's usually the beginning of the end of things. Uh, I, I'll say this again, GP Transco is everything that I wanted previous trucking companies to be. And because of that, I will be here as long as I can. I'd marry the CEO if I could. <laughs>